called Ed Lockhart, but only for tonight, as this isn't his real name. Um, this is the first Ignite Cardiff's proper undercover speaker. We don't know who he is, and we won't know who he is afterwards either. Very exciting. He has to stay anonymous because of the nature of his amazing job, which he will explain. I mean, look at that. Um, and he gave us a list of interesting facts about him. And he was like, oh, maybe throw a couple of those in, but I have to list them all. Okay? So, here's the, here's the interesting facts. So, he has held a shrunken human head from Papua New Guinea. He has been shot at by South African gangsters. He has read President Obama's copy of the Wall Street Journal. And he has had a cameo TV appearance on five occasions, including one on Japanese TV. And he is five foot nine, 28 years old, and his phone number has a seven in it. <laughs> the mystery, the mystery. So this is going to be really exciting. So I would like to introduce the stage, not his real name, Ed Lockhart. <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm not quite sure what you're laughing at, um, but first of all, um, because I'm wearing this face mask, I'm going to have to rip, rip this off, or, or at least attempt to. Uh, there we go. Uh, souvenir for anyone that would like it. <laughs> there we are. Uh, that's how we chuck things in the audience, just so, so you're aware. Um, right, I just need to do, I just need to do um, a quick um, sound check. So, Ed, where, where's good for the microphone? Is it about there? About there? Bit closer, further away. Bit closer, further away. Closer. I see what you've done there. Very good. Yes. It's because I look like a gimp. I'm, I'm well aware of that. I'm well aware of that. Um, some might say a clinical gimp, but a gimp nonetheless. Um, and for those of you that like Pulp Fiction, there's a little bit of reference here because I have to get in the box um, to make sure that they can see me. So, yes, this gimp will not be released from the box this evening. Um, okay. Um, Rihanna has said... Uh, Ed Lockhart is not my real name, uh, but go to the real Ed. Uh, so who is the real Ed Lockhart? Well, it's this chap here with a wonderful moustache. Now, you can't see it, but I can't actually grow a tash. And if I could, I'd love it to be like that. He's known as the French Sherlock Holmes. Um, he's a French man who uh, is essentially the pioneer of modern forensic day science. Um, he came up with this. It's called Lockhart's Principle of Exchange, uh, which basically means every contact leaves a trace. So every time you scratch your ass like that and you get those skiddies on your pants, that's the kind of thing we're talking about. <laughs> Mm. we've all been there but, but what does forensic science actually mean because it's not all sn finger sniffing and licking blood off the floor well it comes from the Latin term forensis which means before the forum which is before a group of people so in the modern day we call that a court of law uh, so forensic science is the application of science to law um, but it's not just fingerprinting and DNA. Now, this presentation does contain some graphic images, um, so just be aware of that. I can't remember where they are in the presentation, so it's going to be potluck. But I'm going to talk about some specialisms now. Footwear marks. Excellent. Um, shoes are a very good way of identifying who someone is. Uh, we know about fingerprints and that everyone's fingerprints are unique, but footwear marks also have specialist um, patterns on there uh, that can identify someone. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so there we are, graphic picture number one. Um, entomology is the study of flies and beetles. So the first things that maggots do, flies do, actually is lie, uh, lay their eggs by um, eyes and nose and mouth, and then they all uh, hatch and they eat the body, and it's all very mingy, and it smells very nice if you like that kind of thing. It's quite sweet. Um, anthropology. So we can actually, by looking at a skull, um, we can set someone, I don't mean have sex with a body, that's obviously a crime, uh, but actually uh, identify the gender, ethnicity, height, and we can look at various things uh, with on that skull. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go into that. Blood pattern analysis, yeah, we all love that because of Dexter and all the sexy things he does with blood. Again, it's a little bit kinky, not going to go into that, that's a different presentation. But we can identify the direction of travel of something, a little bit of a gimp move going on there, and blood spatter. That one in the bottom left-hand corner, by the way, is impact spatter from a gunshot. Speaking of guns, ballistics, see what I did there, very smooth. Um, ballistics, um, this is how we match guns. These are what we call striations on the side of a bullet. So the left-hand side is a match, right-hand side is not a match of those two circles there. Um, toxicology, right, so all of you that like to go out and get shit-faced and plastered, well, 
what you've drunk, what you've taken is in your blood and urine and in your hair. And that's the kind of thing that we like to do. We like to pluck that out, chop it up, sniff it up, whatever. Uh, vitreous humor, that's from the eyeball. Ooh, fire investigation. Yeah, this is a charred body. Um, sorry about that. Warning, uh, fire coming up. <laughs> fire investigation, very difficult to interpret. Obviously, this man is dead. Um, <laughs> but, but the seed of a fire is what we try to uh, look at. Palinology, yeah, these weird little things here, they're not, like, they're not the kind of things that you chuck at a dog and they go crazy for the little squeaky thing. Um, pollen and spores, now interesting fact for you, palinology was a thing that sealed Ian Huntley's conviction, an excellent forensic scientist called uh, Patricia Wiltshire was responsible for that. Oh, uh, yeah, another gruesome. Uh, pathology, um, now it's not all Quincy and um, you know, silent witness, some of it is real life, and uh, this is one of them, um, post-mortems, which is essentially when we... I don't want to say chop up a body because in, in, with all respect, the pathologists and the mortuary technicians are very professional, they're very dignified, and I've never met people who are more um, aware of, uh, of, of a human body than, than the pathologists. But we have a look at things like this, which is matching um, marks from guns. Uh, this is the skull um, cut off, and we look at what's called a sclera, which is the uh, protective layer there. So if someone's had some uh, blunt force trauma or been in an accident, that uh, sclera rips around the cranium. Uh, and that's how one of the ways that we can um, identify that someone's uh, had that. Um, you've got to be very good with the human body and be able to recognize things. So what you might not be able to see there, right in the middle, is um, a gunshot exit wound. So you might say, oh, the fire was the cause of death. Not necessarily. Could have been shot first, as in this case, and then set on fire. DNA. This is what we call a DNA ladder. Uh, this is what your DNA looks like. Stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Very sexy word, but we're forensic scientists. We're very sexy people, obviously. Um, <laughs> Everyone's DNA different, except for identical twins, I know, um, which leads me on to fingerprints. Now, every person's fingers are different, including identical twins. Uh, the nature of the fingerprints are on each finger are different and on your toes. And we've got three main patterns there, arch, loop, and whirl. Very sexy things to know. So who am I? Well, I've got an XY chromosome, which means I'm male. Um, my mitochondrial DNA would say that I'm uh, Eastern, not Eastern European, sorry, just white European. Superorbital ridges, they're the eyebrows. Not very pronounced, but I've got a large occipital protuberance. Mmm, ladies, gather round. <laughs> but you don't know where that is. There are fewer ways to commit the perfect crime. I can't plug my own business, but please, if you must commit a crime please 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 be original i'm so fed up of just people just stabbing and shooting come on come up with something that you see on the tv shows people thank you very much obviously that's not me none of those are me i don't know if they're real give them a go by all means um <laughs> if i told you who i was it wouldn't be undercover so if you do need us in all seriousness please dial 999 we are here we have got your back and we will do what we can to put the shit bags behind bars thank you very much you've been a wonderful audience <laughs> <laughs>